All right, good morning from all of us here at Hubbard's Marina. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina. Showing you guys the morning view here inside John's Pass. It is uh, almost a low tide. Very nice to be low underneath that pole for once. Those new moon high tides and uh, Hurricane Michael definitely had us a little bit uh, high water around here inside John's Pass. Definitely stirred up that red tide, broke it up quite a bit, but it also stirred it up and brought kind of a new push, a new wave of some of that dead fish into John's Pass and along the beaches. And a lot of people are saying, oh, red tide's worse. The hurricane made it worse. Oh my gosh. But that's not true at all, guys. Don't believe what you hear. Uh, you can't always believe what you read and uh, do a little bit of research. Hurricanes just simply break it up, spread it out, and uh, hopefully uh, that means it will make it easier for those cold fronts to kill it. So again, hurricanes don't kill red tide, it just breaks it up and stirs it around. The, what will kill it, hopefully, will be the cold fronts that are following the red tide. We were supposed to have a pretty bad to the bone front behind this hurricane, and then uh, sometime midweek next week around Wednesday, we were supposed to have another bad to the bone cold front to help break it up and kill it off even more. Uh, we're still looking like we're gonna get those fronts, but they're not looking as strong as we would have hoped. Uh, so again, hurricanes don't kill uh, red oh, tide. They just break it up and stir it up. The cold fronts kill red tide. Uh, so we're getting a cold front here sometime tonight into tomorrow, but it's going to be very, very weak. I was hoping for a little bit stronger of a front, but we'll have those north winds here uh, over the next 48 hours or so, and those north winds will bring a little bit cooler weather. It's going to be in the high 60s uh, overnight, and uh, that definitely helps uh, subside the red tide growth, hopefully. And then next week, we were supposed to have a cold front blowing like 30 knots. Uh, it doesn't seem that way. It seems like that front's weakened quite a bit as well. So cold fronts are what we're hoping for here, folks. And uh, those cold fronts are what puts an end to the red tide. So hurricanes just break it up and weaken the algae blooms. And then the cold water behind a cold front or hopefully what is what kills it off. But doesn't look like we're having the strong fronts that was once forecasted before the storm. Before the storm, we were thinking heavy rains from the storm, heavy seas, and uh, then some strong cold fronts after it. Now it turns out we didn't get much rain at all. We got some heavy winds and heavy seas, but we're not having the strong fronts like we were once hoping for. So weather is always changing. We're always keeping an eye on it. And uh, I'm remaining cautiously hopeful uh, definitely red tide seems to have broke up quite a bit. The latest uh, FWRI red, red tide forecast shows Tampa Bay is vastly improved. Uh, and it also shows that we are uh, doing much better as far as there's Dusty waving to us from outside the wheelhouse. Uh, but it, the latest red tide forecast from FWRI does look much better. Uh, as far as our local area, John's Pass to like Indian Rocks, South Clearwater Beach, uh, it's still, there's, there's more dead fish on the beach than there was a week ago. And uh, definitely have a little bit of a scratchy throat yesterday. It seems a little bit better today. And uh, I think it will continue to be better as we have uh, these north winds, hopefully are gonna push down some fresh northerly air for us. And then it's supposed to go back to east winds for a few days. Uh, so we'll see what we, we'll see what shakes out, but cautiously optimistic here. As far as the fishing goes, uh, behind these storms, the fishing gets really, really good. The shelling gets really, really good as well. If you're ready to go get some shells, today is the day to do it. Uh, Egmont Key is running today and we should go have a really good shot at some of those megalodon teeth, uh, some of those nice shells, some shark's teeth. Uh, definitely a great time to go out to the island and go shelling. Behind this rough weather, new shells, shark's teeth, new fossils, all that kind of stuff gets washed up onto the beach. So a great time to get out and enjoy the island for sure. 
Also fishing, fish get really stacked up on those larger pieces of structure, our inshore artificial reefs, the pipeline, the middle grounds, the elbow, all those areas should be holding a lot more fish. Uh, and they're generally very aggressive behind a front. With all these fish stacked up on the larger structures, they can get competitive and they typically feed pretty well for us. So behind a big storm, they're all stacked up on the big structure. And then once the wind and the water calms down and the water clears up, that's when the fish start chewing. So today, the, obviously, the wind and the seas have calmed down. But the question is, has the water cleared up? If the water cleared up, we should be able to do very well. The Mrs. Hub went out today. The Hub went out today. Uh, almost all of our charter boats are out. Plus, there goes the half day fishing trip. So we're hoping for another great day out in the water. Uh, definitely gonna have a great day at the islands, uh, shelling and stuff like that and enjoying some snorkeling. Uh, definitely a great time to get out in the water. And then also guys, we have the Tampa Bay Fishing Club meet and greet uh, coming tomorrow. And that gives you a shot at winning $3,000 in free Hubbard's Marina fishing trips in the raffle. Uh, and that raffle, all the proceeds will go to a veterans organization. Uh, so we're really, really looking forward to seeing Reeling Freedom, uh, a local veterans group, get all the proceeds from this great uh event coming up tomorrow by Tampa Bay Fishing Club at England Brothers Park in Pinellas Park, Florida. Uh, so we'll be out there with the Hubbard's Marina booth. Hopefully you can stop by the booth and enjoy some time uh, at the England Brothers Park with us at Hubbard's Marina. And uh, thank you to the Tampa Bay Fishing Club for all you're doing to put this event together. It's going to be a great time. We're going to be out there with Salt Strong, uh, the Gulf of Mexico Fishery Management Council is going to be there. A lot of different great organizations, great local companies, and other great charter companies will be out there. So it's a great time to meet and greet your fellow angler and have some awesome time uh, talking fishing. So we'll see you this weekend. Remember, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Have a good day, guys.